Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride my channel for a dressage vlog i feel like every vlog at the minute is like the first thing of 2021 isn't it it's like first competition first time for the lesson and today is the first dressage competition miss lola is all ready to rock and roll i have been rushing a little bit to be honest I have been in work the past three days and we didn't finish until five and my first test I had to write this on my hand <laughs> um so my first test is at 1851 so really it's actually quite a quick turnaround the horses were out because I thought by lunchtime it would be too long for them to be in so I had to get them in get obviously her looking all smart and shiny again which thankfully she's been out quite a few times recently so it makes it all that much all that bit easier we're heading over to chiverton park again it's held by our riding club called trek and they do a summer series i did explain briefly at the end of my vlog that went live tonight <laughs> i don't know why i planned it to be today probably not the best day for it to go live but hey ho that's gonna go live at six which is literally probably like in 20 minutes i really need to get going come on miss lola let's get you in the box i just hitched up the car is loaded she's all ready and i need to have a little bit of breathing time so maybe i'll carry this on in the car get her loaded and then i can sort of do two birds one stone picking up chris again i'm not sure what i've done right for chris to be joining me so much recently but uh it's nice and it's nice when it's the local ones that he's coming along because obviously once we start going further afield for BEs then we don't tend to get them coming along all that often so it's nice for them to be able to come out and about to the local ones we may have been a little bit ambitious we have entered two novice tests I'm going to carry this on in the car because I am I'm not really concentrating and I'm really conscious that time is ticking and I need to get over there <laughs> thankfully for dressage it doesn't take that long to get ready does it it's only like saddle bridle um, and obviously I need to get changed. Uh, so yeah, let me get Miss Lola in the trailer and then I'll carry, carry it on. Okay, I can relax a little bit now. We are on the road, just pulled out the drive. Miss Lola loaded straight away, so I was meant to put makeup on as well and I haven't got that far, but that's not quite the priority, is it? Maybe if I do have enough time before my test, I will just pop on, you know, a layer of the uh, hair mascara just for my lashes. Oh, he's down. Checking the cows. Because I was thinking of so many things, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure what I said and what I didn't say, but I know I said the venue, Cool Checker running it. And I was gonna go on, I believe, to say that we have been quite ambitious and entered two novice tests. Now I wanted to enter two tests because I think it's nice to get the first one done and sort of just to get used again of being in an arena and having somebody, the dressage judge, watching you, or watching your every move, should I say, and then be able, it's just test practice, basically. That's what I'm, again, using it for this evening. Novice tests are nice, because there is quite a lot going on in them. Don't get me wrong, our medium trot is nowhere where it should be. It's not even there when we've been schooling for a year, let alone for a few months. Not even a few months, maybe a couple of months. And that's probably being kind, but hey ho, we're just going there. We'll be running in our medium trot, but we're going there just to get a couple of tests under our belt. Our first test is novice 24, and then our second one is novice 27. We did head to Chiverton on Monday night. Obviously, Miss Lola had a rather busy weekend, so I didn't want to do too much, but I just wanted to sort of run through the test so I was a bit prepared and know where we're going and that sort of thing. I remember doing this as our first competition back last year over here on a Wednesday, and I again think I did enter two novice tests, but I never rode through them before, and I think I ended up going wrong in both tests. So I also had learned the first test 
for the last test, does that make sense? So the test I had learned thinking I was riding it first, we were actually riding it second. So then that really confused me as well. So I am much more on it and prepared this time. I might have had a bit of a rush to get here, but I'm hoping we've got like a 20 minute drive, maybe not even that, 15 minute drive. So that will chill me out. Everything's done now. Don't need to worry, just need to get there, tack up and ride. We obviously haven't got much schooling stamina at the moment because we haven't done a great deal. So I don't, because we're doing two tests, that's gonna probably take it out of her quite a lot. So I don't wanna be warming up for too long for each test. And I kind of want to use the first test as a bit of a warm up in itself. I just wanna make sure that she is warm and loose before going into that test but I'm only going to probably do about a 10 minute warm up um, before getting on but Christopher is now here boom was in time to be able to put on some mascara feel alive a little bit more alive now. Miss Lola is ready. It's absolutely freezing, not gonna lie. Just need to pop your bride along. We've got 20 minutes till our test. Just been going through it, so I think I can remember it. Fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, let's get the first test done and under our belts. Like I haven't done a voiceover of dressage for quite some time, but considering I suppose we are quite far away from the arena, but hopefully it will make it a little bit clearer as I talk through the marks from the judge and how I'm feeling Lola is going. So we're just entering the arena for Novice 24. Now Lola was feeling rather tense down this center line, so she doesn't look too bad considering. And then just as I was preparing her for the turn, she went into canter, which as the judge said was a pity and she broke and we scored a four. Thankfully we got her back I got her back into trot quite quickly for a 10 metre loop, which we scored a seven and was correctly shaped, which was nice to read, riding, making me feel like my riding is accurate. And then we do a half 20 metre circle to X, a walk transition over X, and then another half 20 metre circle left. So for the first half, we scored a 6.5, more fluency for a seven, which we obviously got then in our second half because we then scored a seven. And then straight away, same as we did on the other rain, we go back into a 10 meter loop. Now I'm quite pleased, she was feeling quite tense and I didn't feel like I could really, she wasn't very rideable. It was almost like, this is the trot that I'm getting and this is all I'm getting. So I am pleased with her. And as I said, we scored a seven for that. Then we had to do some medium trot strides which I already knew that we weren't going to really get and especially when I knew that I couldn't really put my leg on or ride her like that so we did score a five and there was no real difference. Then around for a walk transition to C and we will then be changing the rain so we had to do medium walk all the way to the middle of the arena which to be fair in most of our eventing tests we're always like and stretch across the diagonal but I actually had to keep her all together which I think she did quite well walk isn't our best gate so I was chuffed we scored a six for the medium walk we were just slow to actually establish it so that was our trot to walk transition and then on the free walk which this part is one of Lola's favourites. We scored a seven with promising stretch. Then back at A, we go back into medium walk, which the judge scored us a 6.5 and said that we just needed to have a bit of a rounder frame. And then at F, we're picking up trot. And along this bit here, I was smiling and laughing because I was like, we've got a counter transition coming up and I feel it could be quite explosive. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have had those thoughts because as you see, we took off on the wrong leg, then went disunited, but did manage to get it back. And as you can imagine, we didn't score very highly on that. We scored a four, but managed to get it back for this 20 meter circle, which on the second half, we had to show some medium canter strides, which Lola was quite happy to oblige, bit of a flicky tail, but the judge said we showed a clear difference and scored us a seven. And then around here, she was just very tense. And we had to do another half 20 meter circle, two X with a trot transition, which as you'll see, she just did not want to come back to trot. 
making that canter smaller and smaller and then our right canter takeoff was not very good either so for the first half we scored a six and for the second oh no first half we scored a five then the second half we scored a six needed more suppleness which I totally agree I think the tension just getting to her a little bit there then again doing another 20 meter circle and this time we had to give and retake the reins over the center line just there and for this we scored a 6.5 just needed to again be more supple and then back to trot which was a better trot transition to be fair I'm quite pleased with that and then we had to show some medium trot strides which again I wasn't expecting and the judge said that we needed more ground cover then up it right in front of the judge we had to do a 20 meter circle allowing the horse to stretch which Lola was she usually loves doing this but again because she was just a bit tense didn't want to stretch down as much as what I know she would normally so as the judge rightly said needs to take nose forwards and down scoring us a 6.5 picking her back up for a half 10 meter circle at E and then halt and salute at G for all of this movement we scored a six halt crooked and then corrected overall for our first test back a few mixed marks just a bit of tension there making us drop some but overall really pleased for our first test out and especially straight out at novice first test done and as you've seen it was uh, very interesting i reckon that we're going to probably have tents the whole way through maybe my warm-up of only doing a short warm-up for the first test wasn't maybe the best idea um, so we're going to go for a longer slower warm-up in our second test i don't know whether maybe after all our jumping fun at the weekend she's just a little bit tight in her hamstrings so we're going to go for a nice stretchy long low warm-up um, and spend a little bit extra time in the warm-up before our second test i think miss lola was hoping that there were going to be jumps around the arena <laughs> Um, I was smiling coming down towards the judge as we were going into our first canter transition going this is going to be an explosion to canter I could feel it but it was good it wasn't bad it was nice to get out and do a test and I remembered it so that's a bonus and we've done our first test so yeah I'm going to sit down in the car and go through our novice 27 and get that back into my brain oh, 27 there. there's 27 so yeah I'm going to sit down and go through that and hopefully then I can remember the second test of the night. Test learnt. Somebody's having a snooze. Nala! Our pony competition's boring! Is she keeping you warm? <laughs> I bet she is. Oh, I also forgot to show, I don't know how well I can show this, but I finally get to wear my Christmas present from Tina! How smart does that look at the back? jacket's in the way of it so oh was it not showing oh. how cute is that i've always wanted one of these and tina got it for me for christmas and i finally got to wear it i saw it on the kitchen side this morning i was like oh do not forget that we've got about another 20 minutes until i want to be on miss lola has got a rug on keeping her warm she actually looks like she's going for a snooze and then uh, get on and plan of attack is slightly different as i just mentioned on to our second test of the evening this is novice 27 just entering the arena and already i just feel like she looks so much more relaxed as she did feel after a bit of a longer warm-up turning left and we had no canter woohoo and the judge said that we have pleasing bend c to h scoring us a 7.5 then at E, we go on to a 20 metre circle. And I just feel she looks much more relaxed in her frame. And from riding it, she just felt so much different, like a different horse in this second test. So much more relaxed and rideable. I was actually able to apply my leg how I wanted to and ride her how I wanted to. So we scored a seven for the circle. And then you go straight on to a half 10 metre circle to X and then another half 10 to B which I think she did really lovely. And I think the shape of them were quite good. We scored a 7.5, the judge said we were well balanced. And then here we have to come back to walk for one horse's length before proceeding in trot. And the walk didn't happen as quick as I wanted it to. 
or when I was expecting it to, to be honest. So that's something to work on. But we scored a 6.5, losing activity in the walk. Again, the walk letting us down a little bit there. Then A, we do 20 meter circle, picking up canter, and we scored a 7.5, well balanced. Then down between K and H, we had to give and retake the reins which wasn't horrendous, I'm quite pleased with that. We just had our quarters slightly right, bananaing, like uh, I am very, uh, very much so working on in our schooling. And then across the diagonal, changing the rain, and then trot at K. So again, we scored a 6.5 with quarters right at K. So again, that bananaing just getting in there. And then we've got to come across this diagonal and show some medium trot strides which the judge said just there we were improving by h so we got better and better as that diagonal went on and scored us a seven which was fab losing that tension just obviously made her more relaxed and able to actually push off from behind and then we basically repeat everything we've just done on the other rein so we go on to a 20 meter circle i'm losing where i am on the sheet some disturbance to contact is what the judge said here, scoring us a 6.5, which I get. I think she's just there a little bit like head bobby almost. And then straight again on to two half tens, which I'm just losing where I am on the sheet. Again, we got well balanced and scored another 7.5. And then down in this corner, we've got to do the walk transition. So I think I prepared here earlier for it. Still didn't happen quite as quick as I wanted to, but the judge said that it was more fluent and scored us a seven. Then straight on to a 20 metre circle. Again, picking up canter at X. Which if I'm being really picky, I think she could have just been a little bit sharper and a bit more on her bum than on the forehand. But we scored a seven. And then again, down the long side, we had to give and retake the reins. There we go, she stuck her head out a little bit, but the judge said that we were clear and scored us a seven. I think I'm being a little bit too hypercritical of myself, as per usual. Then across the diagonal again, and as we had on the other rein, quarters left at F. But now I'm wondering whether maybe it's me riding that wrong because I've been doing a bit of counter canter in our schooling recently, so potentially that could have been my fault so apologies Lola we scored a 6.5 for that and then across the other diagonal showing some medium trot strides which to be honest I'm quite pleased with that I didn't think that was a too bad an effort scoring a 6.5 and a comment of modest so I will take that then between C and H, medium walk. Now that transition to walk, I think, was much better than the others. And obviously the judge agreed because we scored a 7.5. And then the free walk on a long rein across the diagonal. And she was much more relaxed for this, much more able to go left leg, right leg, left leg. And the judge said, pleasing swing, scoring us an 8, which was a double mark. Boom. <laughs> And then we had to walk down the centre line, which I always find can be a little tricky. They're always like sort of anticipating that we're going to trot. But Miss Lola was good, listened to me and had a nice uphill trot transition, scoring a seven. And then a halt and salute. Again, quarters left, but the halt was square. So we scored a 6.5. A much more consistent test, much more relaxed and way more rideable. And then I've just left this little bit here roll because Chris and Nana made me giggle. <laughs> We are now home. I do think it is probably about 20 past, half past nine. <laughs> it is um, absolutely dark, hence the lights are on and these ponies are looking at me saying, come on, mum, I want to get out and I want my tea. Miss Layla was a very good girl. We totally achieved exactly what I wanted out of this evening. I'm really impressed with her scores. First test, maybe not so much, but I knew that afterwards and I obviously didn't warm her up how I should have. I really thought that she was going to be tired after having such a busy week that she wouldn't need much warming up, but I was quite wrong. I should have, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that and I'll know that for next time. But thankfully, having a bit of a rethink in between tests and 
warming her up slower and longer. I think I, it's almost like when you go to a venting, you forget that you're in the middle of the day. It's lovely summer weather, warmer during the day. So they don't take as much warming up. Whereas tonight it's actually been quite cold. So I think I needed to sort of take that all into consideration. And I failed to on the first one. But as I was saying, the second test doing a longer, slower warm up definitely paid off. So in our first test in Novice 24, we scored 62 point something percent. And in our second test, we had the same judge for both tests. And in our second test of Novice 27, we scored 71 point something percent. So quite a big difference absolutely over the moon with that was not expecting to get into the 70s tonight at all i was hoping to get something around like 67 something around that 66 67 68 anything there i would have been chuffed with but 71 i am over the moon of course there are still things you know what i'm like with my dress on things that we need to work on like our medium trot is really non-existent our transitions down from canter to trot need a bit of tidying up so yeah looking forward to going and starting to work on that as we are in our schooling sessions but yeah overall i'm absolutely buzzing and i can't wait we shall be doing much more of those wednesday evenings need to check whether it's on again next week i don't know if they're doing every wednesday or alternative wednesdays or doing dressage then show jumping or two dressage show jump. i need to go and have a look but i am yeah, super duper chuff with you, Miss Lola. Now I promised you a few easy days just to sort of chill out and relax because she's had a very hectic week. Now let her body and muscles all recover and her brain as well. And then uh, plan what our next adventure is going to be getting out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed following our first dressage outing of the year. It is going to be a short and sweet vlog, I'm sure of it. Not like the one that's gone live this evening that was like 45 minutes. So yeah, nice, short, sweet, with a couple of tests and a very happy, smiley Emily yet again. Good girl, Lola. You're getting in mummy's good books, that's for sure. As always, guys, thank you so much for all your support and your lovely comments and messages on the vlogs. I really do appreciate them, as I said in my previous vlog. But until next time, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!